prices have declined significantly. But HPCL has other triggers around it as well. It came out with numbers. Numbers seem to be, be very well received by the market. And there's also talk of perhaps some sort of value unlocking. Let's go across to Sonal and understand more. Sonal, fill us in. Thank you so much for that. Well, 9-day running uh, for HPCL where it has seen gains, highest level since July as well. Couple of reasons here. The first thing, of course, is the entire oil marketing universe has done well in quarter two. For HPCL as well, it was a beat in terms of numbers. If I look at it, uh, margins came in higher at 8.6%. Profits were higher at 5,100 crore rupees. The GRMs at $13.3 per barrel were higher by around 5 to $6 per barrel, both on a YOI and on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Now, the second trigger for the company now is all the expansion plans. Plans. It has been on a capex spree in the last five years, and now it seems to be reaping those benefits. It will be raising its refinery capacity, which will come on stream soon. One is at the Wysak refinery, where it's 7 million tons per annum, and they are also commissioning the Barmaid refinery, which is also a huge capacity as well. Mumbai refinery has also expanded from 7.5 to 9.5 metric uh, million tons per annum. They've also commissioned two major pipeline projects in the south. They've also commissioned a regasification and storage terminal at Shara, and overall, they plan plan to do a capex of 75,000 crore rupees over the next five years. And this, how will it be split? 20 to 25 percent, uh, 25 to 30 percent of this will be in renewables, 20 to 25 percent in refining space and balance on marketing. So they are looking at uh, diversifying their current product portfolio as well. <coughs> Uh, the third reason is they have a, they have actually put out or they have commissioned a wholly owned subsidy for their green businesses where they will be foraying into renewables, EVs, there's hydrogen segments and crude to chemicals as well. And the last one is that they have spoken about lubricants demerger. It happened back in quarter four FY23. There's some update on that where the company says they are awaiting certain approvals coming in from the government of India. They are looking on either listing it separately or actually looking at a strategic partner as well. So some value unlocking is what they they are planning in the lubricants business. On the back of all this, uh, the brokerages, they are quite positive. Nomura has raised the EBITDA estimates uh, by 3% for FY25, 8% for FY26 on higher refining margins of the company. ICICI Securities has increased the FY24 estimates by 122% and FY25 by 17% versus previous estimates. The thing to watch out for the entire universe would be the elections because that could pose some threat to their marketing margins. But for now, looking good for HPCL. Oh, absolutely. 7% gain there, Sonal. Thanks a lot for getting us all of those details. But